Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you all are doing well. I welcome you in the English lesson of class 3. Uh, let's have the recap of the previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we started our unit number 4, that was buses. We have done the reading plus explanation. So, hope you all are clear about it. And now we will move towards our exercise. Open page number 18. Hold your pencils in your hands. Uh, remember students, you will do your work with the pencil on your book, not with a pen. So, uh, this is activities page. Let's read the question. How did people travel before cars and buses? When there were no cars, when there were no buses, so how people used to travel? So, we have also read in the chapter that people walked, used bicycle, the people used to walk. So, people walked, used bicycle, donkeys and horses to travel before car, cars and buses. Okay. So, I will read it again for you so that you must be clear about it even if you cannot see. So, you must understand my words which I am reading the answer. So, this is people walked, comma, people walked, comma, used bicycle, comma, donkeys and horses to travel. Travel, you can't see, it's there, but to travel before cars and buses. So, I hope this question is clear to you. How did people travel before cars and buses? When there were no buses, there were no cars. The people used to walk, used bicycle, donkeys and horses to travel before cars and buses. So, in question number two, this is what was special about double deck buses? What was the specialty of the double deck buses? You know, the double deck buses were the two stairs. Uh, buses, the upstairs and the, the, the lower one. So, the specialty of... In double deck buses, people could go upstairs and look out of the windows. Again, in double deck buses, people could go upstairs and look out of the windows. Question number three is, what was not in the old buses? What was not in the old buses? And this is very clear. There was no upstairs part in old buses. Again, there was no upstairs part in old buses. Question number four is, who collects the bus fares? Uh, students see if you can see all these questions were in the past tense did is a part of past tense so that's why we wrote the answer also in the past tense walked used the qu second question was also in the past tense because was was used there so that's why we wrote the answer in the past tense the third question was also in the past tense was not so that's why we wrote the answer in the past tense. There was no upstairs. But in question number four, if you see who collects the bus fares, this is present tense, present indefinite, who collects the bus fares. So we will write the answer in the present tense. The conductor collects the bus, the bus fare. Again, the conductor collects the bus fares. If the question is in past tense, so you will write the answer in the past tense. But if the question is in the present tense, so you will write the answer in the present tense. What does the bus conductor have? What the bus conductor have? So have is also the part of uh, this is the present tense. If we could use here the had, so that will be the past tense. But we used here have, so this is a question have. So we will write the answer in the present tense. That is, the conductor has a bag for money 
and tickets on his shoulder again the conductor has a bag for money and tickets on his shoulder did you ever go on a bus this is also a past tense did we used here so that's why this is a past tense a uh, question did you ever go on the bus yes or no so you just have to put here the tick or here the tick and where did you go so i wrote here the answer i went to school on a bus so if you go to your school on a bus so you can write the same answer i went to school on a bus so hope students this exercise is clear to you now we will move towards exercise b that is quick pick okay so true we will put tick or false we will put cross buses are only for rich people no the rich people had their own cars so this is a cross statement this is a wrong statement old buses had no doors cross they had doors conductor collected the fares yes the conductor was uh, were for this purpose they used to collect fares this is true conductors drove the buses no conductor didn't drive the bus but the bus driver drove the buses so this is a cross statement okay spelling scramble this is your home assignment you will do it by yourself this is very really easy you just have to rearrange these words and write them here like s u b so what it can be this is very really easy the the letters are scrambled up so you have to rearrange them and you will write them here in the proper form in a proper word this is easy so students hope this activity page is clear to you, to you now inshallah in the next video we will do the language page so till then exercise do uh, do exercise of this page or take care of yourself have a good time